About 10% of all colon cancers have a genetic component to them, which means that carriers may be in danger of passing the condition to their children. Experts at the University of Michigan Comprehensive Cancer Center say that counseling and screening for genetic predisposition may help to save lives. Colon cancer is one of the most common cancers in the United States, and the good news about colon cancer is that it's largely preventable. There are more than 150,000 cases of colorectal cancer diagnosed in the United States each year. The vast majority of colon cancer is not caused by inherited susceptibility, but among the 10% of individuals who have a family history of colorectal cancer, we are actually able to identify a genetic basis for it in about 3 to 6%. I went to the doctor, he ordered a colonoscopy, and they found um, like thousands of polyps in my colon. And he knew, you know, right then and there it was, you know, familial adenoma polyposis. I came to find out that my grandfather, my mom's dad, um, died of colon cancer, the FAP, and then my mom's brother, who had FAP, died at a young age also. For people who are concerned about a family history of cancer, it's often helpful to talk to your doctor about whether or not genetic counseling would be beneficial. Genetic testing for colon cancer should be considered in anybody that's diagnosed with colon cancer before the age of 50. In addition, anybody who's diagnosed with colon cancer and has two or more additional family members with colon cancer should also be considered for genetic counseling. We're aware of two conditions specifically that have a very well-defined genetic basis. The first of those is a condition called FAP, which is a condition that's characterized by thousands of polyps which carpet the colon and is associated with a very high risk of cancer. The second condition is called Lynch syndrome, and Lynch syndrome really is not associated with a lot of polyps, at least in terms of number, but the risk of colon cancer in Lynch syndrome is quite high. The best way to recognize Lynch syndrome is actually to look at a family history and see whether or not there are three or more family members who have been diagnosed with colon cancer. And a second clue that's helpful for recognizing Lynch syndrome is to recognize whether or not any family members have been diagnosed with colon cancer before the age of 50. Young onset colon cancer is one of the clues to inherited susceptibility to cancer. I have three children and I was very concerned the, you know, that they would carry the gene. I did have my children tested, um, genetically tested, and they come up that they didn't carry the FAP gene. There's an active research program at the University of Michigan Comprehensive Cancer Center, and we're making excellent progress in terms of developing new strategies for reducing the risk of colorectal cancer. This is actually taking place in several different ways. The first is trying to identify those people who are at an increased risk. We have a colon cancer registry which allows us to identify families who are at an increased risk. And this is offering a great opportunity for us to learn more about those families who have familial susceptibility. We are about to launch a new study that allows us to estimate the risk of developing colorectal cancer using computer simulating models. These models will allow us to tailor how often people should get colonoscopies uh, on the basis of their family history, the number of cancers uh, within the family, and the ages at which they're diagnosed.